Good morning. It is day three of our green only food challenge. This morning, I think we're going to try to make biscuits and gravy. So the biscuits, I've been racking my brain. I don't think there's any way to make them green. So they're going to just be the color of biscuits, brown, like a tan, whatever. <laughs> but I'm going to make the gravy green. So it goes on top. So it'll cover the biscuit. So it'll be all green. Kind of. <laughs> so that's the plan for our breakfast this morning. I'm going to get going on that. All right, you guys know the protocol. We put water with spinach and blended it up. This is some leftover gravy I had. I'm going to add it to that and get it all whisked in really good, make it green, and then I'm going to pop these biscuits into the oven. So I got that all incorporated. I'm just going to get this thickened up and nice and bubbly. Biscuits are in the oven. Get nice and brown. And there it is, biscuits and gravy with green gravy. And that is super green. <laughs> For lunch, we're gonna be having leftover Alfredo, chicken Alfredo, green chicken Alfredo with the leftover greens from dinner last night. So I decided I'm also gonna make pistachio pudding. Never had it before. So I've already got my milk in there. Just got to add this and stir it up. And then I'm also going to be making some Jolly Rancher gelatin dessert. So jello, basically. Uh, green apple flavored. And we'll have that this evening. And there it is. Really quick lunch. We were <laughs> running late on lunch. We're, it's almost 3 o'clock. We're just now eating lunch. <sighs> So I'm munching on some shelled pistachios. I really want some coffee. I'm struggling. Um, so I'm debating because our coffee's name is Green Mountain Coffee. Like that should count, right? I'm wanting coffee really bad today. So it is dinner time, or well past dinner time. It is 8.20. <laughs> we are having another really late dinner. I'm just now cooking. We are going to have pesto pizza. So I'm gonna turn around and show you what I've gotten done so far. And then I will show you the process as I continue. So here is the pizzas so far. It's just those basil crust, uh, pre-made crusts from uh, Walmart. And then I put some of this um, traditional ba basil pesto on there. Um, so it's very green at the moment. I am gonna be adding on mozzarella. It's white, I know, but we need some cheese. And for the kids, I'm definitely gonna be putting salami on there for them. So that has a little bit more substance for me. I'll be putting some green peppers, uh, some white onions, right, and some spinach. This is what the kids' pizzas are looking like at the moment. And I am getting ready to color up some chicken with some spinach water, of course, um, for me and Michael's pizzas. So I'm going to get this going real quick, get it colored. Okay, here is the bo the boys, the kids' pizzas, um, Gage's, Elizabeth's, Curtis, and we have Kinsley over, so Kinsley's pizza, um, that's their little cousin. So yep, that's what theirs is looking like. Our chicken's almost colored and heated through, so I'm gonna get ours made up next. And you guys are hearing my boys playing Risk over here. Playing, and they're obviously this is like the old school risk, <laughs> um, but they're having fun playing that. And here is Michael and I's, they're exactly the same. Um, before they go in the oven, so it's mostly green, everything's green except for the white cheese. So, I'm sorry, guys, I wanted some cheese on there, so <laughs> we went with white, so hopefully, whenever it melts. It'll melt over the green and kind of, you know, it won't turn green. It's just going to stay white. I'm sorry. <laughs> but everything else is green. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and get them baking. I figured out a way how to make the cheese. Woo! <laughs> I almost dropped on the floor. I figured out a way to make the cheese uh, green. 
I had leftover cheese and leftover pesto, so I put it in here for like a little snack, and it, it got all green. So, if I was to do it again, this is how I would make my cheese green. <laughs> So while I'm waiting on those to bake off, I'm gonna start making my breakfast for tomorrow morning, Mother's Day morning. We are going to have green French toast bake. Um, I will show you, I'm gonna work on it now, but I'm gonna video and show that tomorrow in tomorrow's video, so make sure you come back for that tomorrow morning, or for you guys, I guess it'll be tomorrow evening. And here is the pizza out of the oven and ready to eat. We're gonna enjoy this. And for dessert, we're gonna be having pistachio pudding and uh, green apple jello. Ready? Mm -hmm. That's good pudding. Yeah? I like pistachio pudding. I like pistachio. Mm -hmm. Yes, I need to try. I got also the, got the Jello. I'm gonna try. I'm already done. Hmm. Yeah, pistachio pudding is pretty good. I just got my food and I'm That's a win. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for future videos. We have one more day of the green food challenge. And tomorrow is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day in advance to all you mothers out there. I hope you have a very blessed day. Make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And I'll see you again tomorrow.